Thank you. And before we start our official agenda, I'd like to begin by acknowledging that we are in the Mi'kma'ki ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kma'k people. Now we'll move on to our agenda. A motion to approve the agenda. Okay, so we have a second for that. Second. Concerning it, the uh, no additions to the agenda. We have a pretty tight meeting on the short camera here. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Okay. Means? Motion carried. Now we have minutes from two different meetings tonight uh, August the 3rd and 23rd. So moved. Okay, we're going to move both of both together, I guess. Uh, can we have a second for that? No second. Here. Moved and seconded uh, that we approve the minutes of August 3rd and August 23rd. Are there any comments or questions on those minutes? Not, uh, all those in favor? Thanks. Carry. Now, under correspondence, uh, we only have uh, some for information from some of our very recent recipients. It was nice to receive those. Uh, no comments on those, I think. Okay, um, community announcements. Are there any community announcements? Go ahead, uh, Councilor Dinger. Thank you, Mr. Lord. Uh, we're hoping, hope with this slowly releasing its scripts on our communities. But we have pre scheduled our seafood chatter, which had originally been scheduled for the first day of May to the 16th day of October. That's a seafood chatter with, well, I guess, haddock and salmon and lobster and everything in it. Frank, um, it's takeout only. It's in the Union Center Community Hall. It's right in downtown Union Center. It's key in the road. It's built a trip set. Um, then we're going to start around 10 a.m. It's going to be a, a take home meal. Uh, it won't be hot. Uh, well, it might be warm, but it's not meant to be a sit down or eat it and eat a warm again. Uh, it's $12 per plate, uh, per bowl, at least on record. Uh, see me, uh, if you happen to know any people at the center, that's that. Thank you. Okay, have we got any more uh, community announcements? Uh, seeing any, so I have one of my own. I'll, uh, I did send her an email last evening to uh, the all counselors. Carolyn has been good enough to help me something here. Uh, and September 19th is the uh, 41st uh, Terry Cox run, a walk for me. Uh, and uh, I've been at it you know, for uh, 22, 23 years, something like that. And I just feel it's uh, very important because cancer affects us all, it affects our community, it affects our friends, and neighbors, and families. And uh, the only way out of the long run is it's got to be research. Sometimes people will say to me, Are we getting anywhere? For all the years. And yes, we are. Uh, there's a lot of people surviving cancer that are living for a long while with it. And uh, well, that's made a big difference for a lot of people. Unfortunately, it doesn't for everybody. It depends on a whole lot of factors like the time that you're diagnosed and a bunch of other stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, today when I was working away at the computer or something else, the thing came at the door. And, uh, I went to see what it was. There was a parasol. You know, those folks get away pretty quickly once they drop the parasol. And uh, so I was a show and tell at night. I took it in the. Sorry, that's what they sent me. And it's quite a bit significant that the flowers are from an area where his uh, family was from. Uh, that was, I think, was somewhere on the prairies in the owners of North Dakota. You know, it's underneath that there's three different languages that. English and French, Métis. In his family, I think his grandmother, great grandmother, was Métis. So that was a, I thought, 
interesting where we open their meeting with this acknowledgement that we also uh, have that, you know, maybe language on it. So, and as always, I'm, I'm, uh, and I've already received a lot of thanks, I'm very thankful for that, uh, for the counselors. Uh, if anybody uh, does want to, uh, after the meeting's over, I'm uh, open to uh, receive sponsorships or whatever you want to call them, but uh, to help them in the jobs. So that's my little speech for tonight. I said people were giving me donations before. I heard they, uh, I heard they needed to give the speech, but I, I wouldn't want to mess it either. <laughs> okay. And no more committee announcements? Okay, we'll move on to emergency resolutions. Are there any emergency resolutions tonight? Okay, hearing none. Any referrals to committee and council? Go ahead, Council Turner. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Uh, I've got a couple of things that I'd like to uh, bring forward. Um, I'd like to have an update on our recreation strategy and how the strategy is uh, aligned with the execution. How far along are we and what the dates are, or whether the things are being met. So I'd like to have an update on that somewhere along the line. Uh, just see how we're doing in terms of uh, Bring the whole strategy forward. And the second one was on uh, communication. We talked uh, previously about a piece of software that's going to help us communicate with our residents. Um, I don't know if that ever uh, pushed forward, but uh, I just have to give them a few things. Recreation strategy and communication software. Okay. Excellent. So there's some guys in Turner. Hopefully, have a little press on our committee meeting in a couple of weeks. Okay, any other uh, referrals to the committee to the council? Are there any? We'll move on, and uh, we now need a motion uh, to go in camera to deal with the uh, very uh, lengthy issues of uh, disposition of municipal property and contract negotiations. Somebody like to make a motion that we go in camera. I'll move Peter. We'll move Peter, seconded by Mayor. Okay, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 